How to look like a schmuck on YouTube. So this is the Innovate ATC Ultra Shell running jacket. And I've worn this for a few races now and runs and what have you. And I thought I'd share with you my thoughts on this um, because I find trying to find a decent running jacket, eh, they, they can be a little bit hit and miss. There's several things that I think, you know, there are a few things that you want to be good on a running jacket and not all of them do that. So. I'm wearing this. Now I'm specifically wearing it not just to look a complete schmuck on YouTube. One of the key things about this particular running jacket is that it is semi see-through. They say it's transparent. Now I'm wearing a white t-shirt with black bold writing and I don't know if this is really going to show up. You can see through it. You can see what's written there. It's done this way so that you can have a, a race number somewhere on your person, probably sort of lower down because the zip sort of goes across the, uh, the upper part. It's a sort of a three quarter zip. It doesn't go all the way down. So if you wear the, or have your number on your shirt kind of around your navel area, then it would be visible. It won't be visible from a distance. You're gonna have to walk up to a marshal for them to see clearly what your number is, but you can see your race number through this which is, I think, quite a useful feature if you're doing a race, an ultra marathon, a trail race, or whatever it is. You know, something you get to a checkpoint. What's your number? Well, it's it's there. So you can tell that they've thought about things for this jacket that are specifically useful for long distance racing in poor conditions. To be frank, this thing is extremely light uh, it's like 125 grams or something ridiculous i mean it to be frank it, whatever it weighs it weighs next to nothing it, it, it has very very little weight this hood which i'm probably looking quite silly this is kind of a little bit stiffened here it's got a bit of beading up here so that it's it doesn't sort of sag down around your face so that when it is raining it just keeps the rain kind of dripping right onto your eyeballs onto your forehead and it kind of diverts it around silly little detail does make a big difference when you're running in horrible weather conditions it's fit wise i'm normally a large a uk large this is a uk large it's a tiny bit snug it's not too snug but it, it, yeah i'm just saying it's not generous in its size now again for racing i kind of like that i don't want stuff flopping all over the the, the place i want it kind of um you know around me i don't want excess material and although when you just sort of put it on you think oh should I go up a size? But actually when I've run with it, I found it to be perfect. It's just a kind of minor observation. Also, you've got like these kind of semi-elasticated um, wrist parts here. You've got tape seams. And when you see these races, and I don't know if they get them in America or elsewhere, but in the UK, I've seen them where it says, oh, you need to have a, a, a rain jacket with you and it must meet these requirements of 10,000, blah, blah, blah this jacket meets those requirements so it's that's handy you know you know you can buy something that's meeting those requirements and pricing wise at the time of filming i had a quick look online and this jacket was going for sort of between 70 to 100 pounds i found it very easily at, at 70 pounds online so actually pretty good value so let's take it off and have a look at it where i can actually sort of show you bits now, this is it now sort of removed. Another feature is that it has, within the hood section, it actually has a sort of self-contained storage pocket uh, there. It's fully open with a little elasticated thing, majiggy. So you can fold it all up and put it within its own hood, just like this. And this is, again, it, it weighs hardly anything. So you can shrink this right down and then have it in your running pack or about your person. However, if you're gonna do a long race, how are you gonna carry stuff if the weather's gonna be changeable? And, and it's not gonna weigh you down. And it does sort of shrink down to a pretty small amount whilst having very credible uh, waterproofing characteristics. So, the things I look for if I'm going to be wearing a running jacket. One, it's got to be comfortable, which it is. So, yep, 
box ticked. Two, it actually has to be waterproof. Now this might be stating the bleak and obvious, but a lot of jackets that say, oh yeah, yeah, it's sort of, you know, waterproof or water resistant or whatever rubbish language they use. You're running it for an hour or so and you're like, yep, that waterproofing has given up the ghost. I've run for hours and hours and been out in horrible conditions in this thing and the waterproofing has remained. Uh, I have not felt that, that there's a limit, if you like, to how much water this thing's going to repel and then, you know, give up the ghost and just roll over and play dead. No, it just kept on working and was fine. And when I have worn it for a long protracted time, it's not started becoming chafy or cumbersome or annoying. It has kind of faded into the background, which is possibly one of the highest compliments I could ever pay to something like this. Three, third thing that I'm looking for on something like this, it's all well and good having a running jacket that is super duper um, waterproof if you are sweating buckets inside the thing and your sweat hasn't got anywhere to go. So you end up feeling soaking wet anyway. Now it's not perfect, it's not the last word in breathability, but it's completely reasonable and acceptable for where it's at. I wore it uh, last weekend and I was out in it for, to be frank, hours and hours and hours. Now I did have a couple of layers on underneath, which would have soaked up, I don't mean too gross, but would have soaked up a fair amount of sweat. But at no point was I feeling uncomfortable or like, geez, you know, I've got to get this layer off. I've got to get some more breathability. No, far from it. I just kind of forgot I was wearing it and just sort of carried on and it just wasn't an issue. It was, a, it was almost like I'd kind of forgot. It was only when I sort of looked down to get a drink out of my vest, and then I suddenly thought, oh yeah, I've got that thing on, because the kind of the color of the top that I was wearing underneath this kind of looked a bit odd when you see it through the transparency, and that's, that's how much I had forgot I was wearing this. I almost surprised myself when I was looking down to get a drink out of my pack, because you need to wear your pack over this, by the way. It's way too snug to have, to think that you can just pull this over the top of your pack. You're gonna be, if you're wearing a pack, the weather changes, you're gonna be taking the pack off, getting this out, putting this on, and then putting the pack back over the top of it. But, oh, and it is, it is because it is snug, by the way, it also does feel like when you're, you know, when you're putting it on, you, it's not gonna go on super fast, or it doesn't for me anyway. In terms of negatives, I haven't really found anything to complain about. I think for what you can buy it for, for 70 pounds uh, British, and for how little it weighs, and for what it's trying to do, yeah, it's a good bit of kit, and that's why I, I wanted to do the video, because I, I've, I've tried other ones, and they've been a little bit, you know, running jackets and they have been a little bit of a disappointment. Whereas this little thing, which as I say, weighs next to nothing uh, from Innovate. Yeah, it's great. Thoroughly enjoyable, no issues. I say thoroughly enjoyable, thoroughly kind of forgettable in a way that you want it to be forgettable. You can also uh, wash this in the, you know, your standard washing machine, but don't tumble dry it. Uh, that's what the label says. And I think that's probably good advice, you know, leave it out to dry naturally. But all in all, yeah, it's a, Solid bit of kit for not a massive amount because you can spend quite a lot of money on some running jackets. And I think this is a very credible bargain with some stuff that you could find really useful on race day. So for me, it's a five star product because there's nothing really to fault and all the things it does, it does very well at a very reasonable price. And I think that's, that's about as good as you can say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.